All right, welcome, folks, to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, it's been a while since I've played an Assassin's Creed game. The last one that I actually play through its an entirety, um, timeline-wise, would be Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. Uh, the last one I actually finished was Assassin's Creed 3, because for some reason I didn't finish it when it was new, uh, and only came back to it after Black Flag. Um, but between Black Flag and Odyssey, I hadn't actually played through any of those Assassin's Creed games, so there's definitely going to be a lot of updates to the material that have happened over the years. Um, also... This is being played through uh, Google's uh, Project Stream test. Um, which is this... Uh, which, uh, to my understanding, is basically just a test of their streaming services. Uh, they haven't announced uh, a, uh, like a store-type platform for, uh, for their services at the moment. Um... So I, I would imagine this is just to test out the technology. But it's still interesting that they're uh, allowing people to try it out. And with a big title like Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey to begin with. Instead of just, say, like, smaller, like, Google Play type games. fishing with your son no never a soldier's life is all i've had in order to know mm. i would have liked to have gone fishing with my son Because alas, you cannot make your own fate. You can make uh, armor that has muscles rippled into it. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? For our sons, for our daughters, for Sparta. Okay, so apparently the game begins with the end of uh, the movie 300, or should I say the comic book and all that. Um, presumably Leonidas dies, um, and then I guess the characters that you play as, uh, you, you have a choice of, uh, Alexander and Alexandra, I believe? Um. Now, I think for, for Odyssey, I've really only watched the E3 trailer, so. The actual specifics, especially since I didn't realize there was a Leonidas section at the beginning are a little bit beyond me. This LB for light attack. Ah. Nope. All right. So they've definitely upgraded the combat. It's not just, uh, like, stand around, wait for people to attack you, and then counterattack. You now actually have abilities. You have combos. Right now I just have the two, but that's okay. That's, uh... 
Do I have a dodge ability? Oh. Oop. I do have a Spartan kick ability. And a flash. And whatever this does. Spartan rage. A la God of War. And that goes on a timer. I wonder if there's an objective I'm supposed to be going towards, though. Or am I just trying to kill as many of the Persians that are around me? And I got a heavy attack and a light attack. And also notice that the heavy attack and light attack are mapped to the uh, right shoulder and uh, right trigger buttons. Okay, there is a dodge. Uh, are mapped to the right trigger buttons, a la uh, Dark Souls. Uh, which is has been a very uh, good upgrade in regards to these kinds of games that I, I prefer. Uh, the fact that you can um, move your camera while attacking at the same time. Like when you have the face buttons controlling your actions... You're forced to choose between either um, attacking or looking in a direction. And I wonder if there is a lock on. Yep, there is a lock on. Yeah, this is a. Uh Interesting system. So I wonder if this was also part of um, of um, I actually don't remember the the the, um, the subtitle for the Egyptian uh, Assassin's Creed that just came out. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. There we go. Okay, so I need to head over to this diamond. Proceed in the game. Although, Ah, so that's referred to as a guard breaker instead of like a heavy attack. Ah. Jeez, these guys. <laughs> these guys just really talk. Wow, that was a long, that was a long conversation. That was like a Spider-Man-esque conversation while fighting, um, except only angry. Oh, and he lived. So maybe I called King Leonidas' death a little bit too soon.
was a day the Persians will never forget. <laughs> Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Ah, uh, the modern characters. Finally. I've, uh, I was wondering what kind of happened to the modern world in regards to, uh... In regards to like the the, the modern day storyline versus the past storylines. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Oh yeah, I did hear that. Uh, essentially, the animus. Uh, doesn't necessarily require you to have uh, okay, ancestry so in your own DNA. It also uh, boots up ancestry off of no DNA that you find. I can crank up the to so if somebody was stabbed with a weapon, that blood uh, gets onto the weapon itself. And then you're able to look uh, at their ancestry using the Animus. Let's see. I'm not, definitely not going to play it on Nightmare. I... <laughs> That, that will look like suffering. And it will feel like suffering. Hmm. Hard mode. Who am I kidding? Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Hmm. Okay, here's, here's, uh, a long time ago I played through, uh, not, I guess it's not really a long time ago, but it feels like it. I played through, uh, Battlefield Hardline and, um, Alien Isolation. And both of those games I played on hard mode instead of my usual regular or normal. Um, because when you selected hard mode in the menu... It said, this is the way the developers meant the game to be played. And so that's the way I played it. I assume that was the... That was... What it, that game was balanced out against. So I'm looking here, and I see guided mode, traditional experience, exploration mode. This is the way Assassin's Creed Odyssey is meant to be experienced. So... Do I really have a choice? You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not going to let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is Okay, before I choose a character, uh, it's Alexios and Cassandra. Um, first, the fact that their DNA is on the spear is an implication in itself. It means they eventually get stabbed by the same spear. To death? I suppose that's the mystery. And two, uh, to say that um, nobody has been killed by a little bit of autonomy, uh, the uh, correct response to that is, curiosity killed the cat. But of course, I'm going to choose Cassandra. Find what we're looking for. I have a 
good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. I, I just want to say uh, good luck and that we're all counting on you. Ah, so bright. Can't see. All right. Cephalonia Island where they only make statues of really buff men although really what would be the uh, what would be the other choice like uh, have a giant statue of like a portly guy like they have to add some more stone for the gut For for the wine gut that the, uh, the guy's got going on. Also, this kind of uh, reminds me of what um, the Assassin's Creed movie it tried to do at the beginning, because the movie tried to follow a uh, eagle as it was like flying through uh, some city. Although. With the movie, it's not as impressive because we've seen great special effects before. Whereas here, like, we see the graphics and they're like, oh my, this is amazing. Hey, shit face. That's Lady Shitface to you. Got the for you. Okay, that's the fastest way down. <laughs> what a sucker punch. The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough. Get a little closer. Ah, there's the parry button. The Cyclops always collects You have a lesson. He's very confident while I'm kicking his ass. Hey. Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep just killing random people who come over to my home and then dealing with the bodies. Thanks for the warning. Like if she does deals with this every week, whatever what what does she do with the bodies? What happened to you? It's nothing, Vibi. I got punched in the face. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Me and Zeus. Actually, I don't know if I'd really want to be good friends with so, Zeus, considering the stories. That weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house, on his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Um. Let's see. Also, I would not want to be a woman who is good friends with Zeus, because that's doubly worse in regards to what kind of fate you're going to expect for yourself. Since when has he had a vineyard? <laughs> Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? 
I don't know. I really like the dialogue in this game. So far, it's pretty good. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Oh, nope, they're not dead. I just roughed them up. It seemed like I killed them because of my stabbing we weapons. Um, but in fact, I just bruised him a little bit with my stabbing weapons. Oh, I could kill them if I wanted. Or I could let them live. Or I could kill them. Eh. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again. I'm going to cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to ah, climbing. Dressed. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. Uh, is that why uh, Cassandra tolerates her? And now to wear something other than Let's get this, on. this kind of dress thing. All right. So I got some armor, I believe. Just a common torso. Oh. You know, I expected to have more clothes than that. Like clothes that covered up stuff. Alright. Alright, he's in the southern part of Mount Anos, uh, south of the statue. Using. Uh, locate with the quest hints that were given to me because I'm not going to get a. Um, a big. Uh, Shining Light Objective Here Beacon. Um, let's see, there's Mount Anos. So maybe here? Let's go there. Oh. Oh, okay. I can uh, see what this change uh, means for uh, Assassin's Creed especially. Uh, because normally Assassin's Creed uh, games for me have always been about the res the utilization of the claw hand. Um, the claw hand in Assassin's Creed basically means, like, in old uh, Creed games, like, you have your basic walk. You got your basic shuffle if you wanted to move everywhere. Then, if you wanted to, run to jog, you had to hold down the R, the, uh, R trigger. Right now, I'm just moving the analog stick. Then, if you wanted to sprint, you had to also you had to hold down the R trigger and hold the A button at the same time. Right now, I'm just holding the analog stick at its fullest. And if I hold the A button, it looks like I do a little bit of a sh nah, it's hard to tell. It looks like I'm just sprinting just by holding the analog stick. Um, but this means that if I wanted to sprint while also controlling the camera, this means I need a, a finger on the R trigger, the A button, and the analog stick at the same time. So that usually meant the thumb was on the analog stick, the index finger on the A button, and then, like, the fourth finger on the R trigger, which was not, v which was never very comfortable. But it got the job done. And really, isn't that what it's all about? 
But now I don't have to worry about that because holding the A button is what causes you to climb rather than have to use multiple combinations of buttons in order to create what you're looking for. Also, what is in this cave? The Cave of Tethys. I have now acquired some loot treasure. Oh, hold on. There was an animation there. That was cool. Uh, never mind. I guess we'll have to see if it shows up next time. That way I don't skip through it like a sucker. Okay. So it's going to be in south. So maybe right over there. Because we got the statue of the muscular man up there. Where are they running off to? Oh no! That's what I get for sparing you. Damn it, Trebek. All right, let's uh, take out this shield bearer first because Damn it. Do I have any special abilities yet? I do not. Ah. That was a nice try. Oh, who's shooting at me? That ah. There we go. Then I can carry their bodies around. Oh, but I got loot. Athenian linothorax is that armor that I can use. And it looks like I actually had a repercussion for letting them go. They try to take me down. Oh. Six armor. Not particularly interesting. Straight ahead. Nope. So I'm looking for... Ah! There I can fly up. So I'm looking for Markalos, I'm guessing. using this bird mode. I presume he is, uh, might be one of these guys. I think. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Okay. Now, at least I don't have to. Find a Enigmata Kraska?
Ostraka. So I'm guessing there's a document of sorts I'm supposed to look for. But luckily, I don't have to worry about following any beaten paths. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. <laughs> you have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra! Thank the gods! Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you! I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? <laughs> Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Uh, this is a little bit direct, but I like uh, the first one. You don't know how to make wine. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine. Step one, wine. grow grapes. Step two, step three, you know me better than get wine. I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. I have IOUs. They're just as good as cash. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris, you know Zuris. Max, you know Max. Stop giving Doris money. You're too kind to Doris. Yes, yeah, stop giving. Zuris, how stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back after I. <laughs> exactly. Everybody benefits. Zuris gets his money. I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? You'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. The white horse, the gray horse, or the brown horse. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from the Salonia. So, does that mean that these horses come with special abilities? Like, the one is actually good at climbing. This one's better for combat. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Oh, so this would be the one for battle. For combat. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. Ah, uh, no. Tell me about this one. No, okay. I'm ready to choose. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. <sighs> this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Povos. He's never let me down. Povos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beats. 
The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris. Yeah, first save my friend. Right. Then worry about the money. Uh Okay, these are the paths. Lightning Zeus. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Whoops. Still, that was actually a very smooth mistake. Other games you go off road in a horse and then suddenly you're like, whoa. And, and it's a struggle to get yourself back on track. That, that was a very seamless uh, screw up followed by. There they are. I'll sneak I'm going to have to look up what that means. Tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom Brahmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. <laughs> this tall grass will keep me hidden. Uh, however, if her assassin's damage is not enough to kill the enemy. You will stealth... To, okay. This is the RPG-esque conflict. Uh, just because you... You can't just stealth kill a high... A really high-leveled enemy. Nobody, it was just the wind. I always find it interesting when there are certain characters in video games that are more or less served up to be killed. Although the... Although the biggest example of all time would of course be the first enemy you fight in um, Manhunt. Of whom is standing with his back towards you. Next to a big sign that says, kill me. Nobody says tutorial stealth kill quite like he did. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. No, must dispose of bodies. Then I will save you. Oh, what's in here? Some loot treasure, eh? Yeah, my horse. A common Phobo skin. But a great companion as well. Uh, let's see, they're both 14. Okay, so I haven't gotten any abilities, so I'm not entirely sure what warrior damage versus assassin's damage is yet, or when that will matter. Oh, here we go. Average damage dealt with ranged weapons. Average damage dealt with melee weapons. Average damage dealt with assassinations. Okay, so I've got my stealth abilities, my combat abilities, and my bow. Now my bow is currently broken, so I don't really have to worry about hunter damage. Uh, let's see, this one is warrior damage, but I can also switch it up for uh, assassin damage. And it looks like my warrior damage is unaffected because it is so low. See, that one increases my bow, but it actually decreases my warrior damage. But since I don't have a functional bow yet, I'm not going to worry about it. There was a last time? How many times does this girl get kidnapped? Be careful. You're alone now since since my parents died. I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. A highly dysfunctional family, to be certain. Ah, so bright. You'll have to be stronger than that. Have 
Ah, I'm being double teamed by my parents, these jerks. Again. Up. Yes, Spartan. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop. And there is a baby on the way. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. I grounded myself, so I put myself in a corner for an hour. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight, we are having baby Alexios. Uh, it's Alexios, the other character. And what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. How do you know they're Greek? They're eating lamb, yes. which is delicious. Cassandra. I wonder how the how many cutscenes change by switching characters. Is is uh, Cassandra still the older sibling of the two, um, or do we watch the same uh, cutscenes except they replace the dialogue? Right. You worry too much. You don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What they say. They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Try not to get kidnapped on your way out. Talos the Stonefist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. Bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs, which is okay because I do would not intend to give the Cyclops a payoff unless that payoff is a punch in the face. Uh, let's see. Open mercenaries menu... Review your position, the rewards for each tier, as well as the status. Since Talos is a higher level, you should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him. Ah, because he's level 5 and I'm level 1. A lowly level 1 fighter. He's got all that armor on, those wrist gauntlets, the sword, them, them boots... Originating from Persia, Talos the Stonefist had the name to be taken literally. As big as a boulder, he was known to pound his enemies' heads into the rock faces of many Cephalonian mountains. That is a very specific uh, uh, re uh, region of area for him to be punching. So, quest. Am I still dealing with Duros? Probably, because that is the most obvious thing for me to track, whereas he's still tough for me. Now, what did I do with my horse, and how do I acquire it? Is there a button for me to call my horse? Ah, Savalode. Mm.
There we go. So. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, kid. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm... You're right where I wanted to go. Uh, I'm, it's very crowded in this street. I, I, I really uh, uh, don't... I really didn't mean to. Okay, what is the difference between these two icons? Oh, one is a statue. Oh. Elos, a Cephalonian armor, needs wolf furs for the war effort. I shall do that eventually. So good. I angered them, I think. The gods. Uh, angering the gods. That doesn't sound like a good idea. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, uh, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know, Ernie. Also, you gave all of your money to uh, a god. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave, all asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right. Don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Okay, since it's already telling me that there is a bandit leader, I'm going to assume that the bandits themselves are tricksters posing as gods. Ah, it's the goat of Mendes, the devil himself. It's a good thing that somebody left all these iron around. These iron bits. And also it's convenient that I'm able to uh, do all that climbing with the torch in hand. So it's got an almost Elder Scrolls-esque uh, bounty system. I should try to stay out of sight. Out of sight from whom? I wonder if uh, stepping into the water causes noise. Okay, so that was just a temporary setback, setting myself on fire. I meant to do that. Also, it looks as though this stealth attack will not kill him, just severely damage him. Be 
because these guys, unlike the previous guys I was fighting, are level 2 enemies, and they are armored. Unfortunately, their extra armor and my capacity to set myself on fire did not save their lives. What do we got here? We got some more iron, some more iron. Ah, eradication area versus exploration area. These are specified values. And this one, full murder. Excellent. Wait, no, I don't want to... Yeah, there we go. Oh my, that was the bandit leader. That's interesting. And that leaves three more survivors. Hold on. Oh, I need to level up first. Now, I am going to just drop this guy, this body. Whoa. Eh. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, environmental damage, too. Okay, so let's switch quests because I'm clearly not doing a wolf quest right now. Let's see, Hungry Gods. Now, it looked like people did take fall damage, so let's... Uh... Nope, doesn't seem like I'm affected at that height. Oh, and there's a nice and easy exit. Oh my, and then all of their stolen goods. Looks like they have collected quite the sum. No gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and Rahmi. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I brought mine. That should be good enough. Thank you for watching. If you've still got the itch for more content, why not give one of those links a try? Got some questions or comments? You can comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. In the meantime, so long folks.